TSPN, streaming on the World Wide Web and on demand at tspntv.com. And we're back with Supervisor Richard Forster. We were at the Scout Hut. We, uh, That's uh, right. And, and this and involves the, the, the Snack Shack, the Scout Hut. The Scout well, Hut is closed right now because uh, the septic, because of damage in the septic system has failed. So they're talking about connecting the two systems all under the Snack Shack. It's been analyzed by Jesse Shaw, uh, engineer, civil engineer. There appears to be adequate room there. So that's not the issue. The big issue is going to be uh, who's going to do the work. It appears Sierra Baptist Church has volunteered to do that. The, the question is, uh, from general services, this is going to complicate operational uh, abilities of the, uh, of the Scout Hut, of the Snack Shack, because you're sharing responsibilities, you're sharing the cost of the equities and anything else involved. Um, I, I think we can work through that. You know what, we're, we're not a large county. Let's try and work with people. Uh, it does increase our general services uh, agency administration costs. But uh, you know what, we, we all got to try and work together. So uh, I think that's the way I'm heading. We'll see. All right. uh, we have uh, discussions again with our um, uh, Amateur County Historical Society on the museum property. Um, they have, uh, the Historical Society has struck a deal with the Jackson Rotary Club. Okay. Uh, Jackson Rotary, and this is a, a perfect public-private. This is going to be a public from the county side and a private-private with the Historical Society and Jackson Rotary. But Jackson Rotary is uh, uh, going to come in and uh, under the auspices of the Historical Society, and they want to do some repairs. Uh, I think one of the things they're going to do is a new... Uh, uh, heater air conditioner system hmm. and uh, they want to do a couple of other improvements there some electrical work uh, needs to be done all that will be donated um, by a couple members of Jackson uh, Rotary and the Rotary members will come in and um, there's a building they want to tear down there's a tree that needs to come out it is causing significant damage there to the building and asphalt uh, they okay. want the county to take that out and uh, we might be able to find some funds for that, and I'll tell you how later in the agenda. But okay. uh, this is all a great effort of uh, partners, uh, the county working right. with all of these partners trying to get something done so we have that museum open on a daily basis or regular basis. Right. And okay. Phil Gerlani and uh, Keith Sweet and all the people that are behind this, uh, just a great job. Right. That's great. Now, uh, we get to uh, a letter of support for Tiger Grant Funding for the Highway 88 uh, quarter improvement project. The county has taken this uh, project uh, back from ACTC and the county is actually doing the administration of the project. The TIGER funding or the Transportation Investment Generating Economic Recovery Competitive Grant Program. This is a, a federal Department of Transportation program and uh, grant funds go out on a very competitive nature for infrastructure and are awarded um, hmm. to those, to the, either to the nation, the region, or metropolitan areas that have the greatest need. Do we have the greatest need? I, I think um, a project like this that has uh, $2 million in it already, another $5 million that is programmed for future improvements, uh, I think it'll fit pretty nicely into that program. So this is just asking for a letter to be sent by our chair, uh, asking for that funding to be. So does it seem like it's a matching grant or something from the federal government for? This is just competitive. It, it's just strictly competitive, not matching at all. Okay. Um, if you have the program, and I, I think if they want matching funds, we can clearly show that. But it's okay. more of a competitive uh, program where they give money based on the need and uh, in the the uh, infrastructure improvement is it worthy of the money to be funded. Okay. All right. Hmm. Um, we have, and this is a big item on the agenda, disposition of one-time funds. We have a significant amount of money that's going to roll back into the county. Uh, we're not looking at this as money that, that uh, the county is receiving from the state just gratis. This is money that belongs to us anyway, right. and we're just getting the money back from the state. But uh, there's a couple different sources here. There's um, the carryover um, is going to be about $590,000 at this time. And this is um, something that could go into our 15-16 budget in the reserve. But it's about $590,000 that we're looking at right now. Um, 
some of that will be from the um, from the money that's coming from the the triple flip and the the formula that the state had where Amador County was left out, and uh, we're, we're getting that money back for fourteen fifteen. Now fifteen sixteen, we anticipate getting another about one point one million dollars back. We may get, and that's the problem with this. Some some of what I'm saying is uh, not hypothetical, but we're guessing we're going to get it back. So do we include it in the budget? We may get another about five hundred thousand back for money owed to us from nine ten of this uh, of this triple flip. Right. fiasco w before we even knew that we were not included well a year later they said uh, that uh, your county's affected by this so um, that may happen too um, there are a couple things here the, the assessor's office has a megabyte system our C CAO said he left that out so that's about 5,000 but what do we do with this money that's coming in it's about going to be about 1.7 million left over do we put it into public works do we put it into um, the museum? Do we put it into Pioneer Park? This is just one-time money. It's not so you, you don't want to. Well, you you can't. It's, it's not going to come back. It's not going to be there every year. That's right. right. That's okay. right. And it, it's one-time money. But what do you use it for? I, I think it's appropriate since some of this is truly transportation dollars. Right. It probably should go into our transportation department and help with uh, infrastructure improvements to our roads which a lot of them uh, are falling apart and need some help. That's where the money would have went had uh, uh, we received it on time in a timely fashion? Some of the money. Fashion? Some okay. of it goes into general fund. So you also have uh, $1.8 million that needs to be repaid to the capital facilities fee for a Wicklow Way property that was purchased. Okay. You have uh, about $5 million in uh, OPEB liability, and this is for um, uh, other program benefits out there that have to be, you have to basically um, have an insurance behind those to show that you have the ability to pay those other benefits that have gone out to employees in the past. So uh, that's just uh, good, uh, good uh, accounting and a good uh, methodology for the county to look at is what are our obligations out there and our liabilities to try and pay some of those down. So right. that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Our CAO is recommending right now, because some of these funds they look like they're going to come to us, but uh, and they might be in the budget. Even the current uh, triple flip uh, money is in the budget, but it may um, it's not going to come to us until the budget's passed. So you're going to wait for it till it's in the bank. Uh, that's I think that's the smart thing to do rather than spend money before you have it. Right. So right. anyway, we're looking at um, possibly having a workshop on this, and I think some of this money we're just going to have to wait until this budget and, and a future budget is passed until we obligate this money and appropriate it to different places. All right. So um, next up, we have a Board of Supervisors again are going to roll over their uh, salary increase that would, would go from 35% to 40% of the Superior Court judge's salary. Uh, we have done this since 2008. We have not uh, taken that final pay step, 5% pay increase, so I, I don't see any change in the board. Uh, you know, we look at it that uh, we're not out of the woods yet on this thing, and we're still recovering from um, the poor economy, and, and rural counties are kind of like the last ones to, to come out of the, um, of the recession. And uh, frankly, the, the federal programs that were out there uh, did not do a whole lot to help us. Okay. So, uh, Board of Supervisors, I anticipate voting to, to roll that over. Last thing, um, uh, I want to say, second to last thing on the agenda is the uh, public hearing for the Energy Action Plan. This was done by the Sierra Business Council with a grant that came from uh, PG&E, supplied grant money. All this uh, comes out of the uh, AB 32 uh, greenhouse gas emissions um, a bill that was authored by, I think, Assembly members or Assemblyman Steinberg, Senator Steinberg, excuse me, and uh, this has has uh, thresholds, and emissions have to be reduced by so much by 2020. So um, we had to do this study by state law. We have to find out where is the county um, using energy? How can we reduce that energy? It's just a smart thing to do. Whether you have uh, AB 32 or not, the county needs to know, um, is there, are there areas that we can uh, make more efficient? 
And I think one of those things we did early on was put the uh, solar panels on our county building, which um, we have county staff showing up to, to watch the meter run backwards. So uh, that's nice to know that, um, at least on uh, days like right. this, that uh, you're probably not spending a whole bunch of energy out there. Okay. So uh, Sierra Business Council will we be on hand. We have 30 seconds. So okay. Last item up, just be quickly, uh, is a uh, CAL FIRES reduction grant that will be presented to the board, and uh, they're going to ask for approval of uh, the board uh, supporting their, their grant to CAL FIRE. All right. Thanks for watching TSPN. Remember, you can catch the, um, the meeting on the Internet on the county's uh, website. So thanks for watching TSPN. We'll see you again next time. Thanks, Richard. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.